What's going on, YouTubers? Uh, in my last video, we did soul item duplication. So things like consumable soul items or boss souls, uh, you were able to duplicate using the controller. Uh, this method, we're going to be doing usable item duplications. So things like Artwinkling Titanite or chunks or slabs. Um, I guess whatever you really want, you could probably do anything with this. I'm just going to be doing Twinkling Titanite and then I'll do Titanite chunks. Uh, so the first thing we have to do is make sure that we don't have any long swords in our inventory. By the time you get to this blacksmith, it's pretty easy to have picked up a long sword. So just go ahead and drop those on the ground if you have one. Uh, then we're going to talk to our friend the blacksmith. We're going to go into purchase item and our end game here is to purchase 999 long swords. Um, this is why we're going to have to be PC only because you have to have a mouse input selected. So we're going to start on the standard arrow. And with our mouse, we're going to hover over this left arrow in the corner. And we're going to press A on our controller or X, uh, whichever controller you're using. And then you're going to also click on this arrow to go back into the sword menu at the same time. So if it works, this purchase menu will come up immediately for the long sword. And then we're going to press down on our controller on the D-pad to get 999. And if you notice, this is almost a million souls. It's like eight-ish times the amount of souls that we have right now. Um, but that's okay. It's just gonna it's gonna use all your souls. So purchase these 999 long swords. Um, and then you can notice that we only have one in our inventory. So that's how you know that this works. And another way you can check is if we equip our long our newly found long sword and then go into our character status you'll notice that our equipment load is 3000 so this long sword that we have has the value of 999 long swords even though there's only one of them in the inventory so once we have the the good long sword we're going to need more souls so i'm just going to do a quick a quick soul duplication let me make sure I have a soul item. I'll drop the two that I'm not using so that I can keep them for later. And then, just like in my last video, we're going to select the 999 arrows, cover the brightness, B. Okay, do that again. So. Drop 999, back out. At the same time, we press A and R1, RB, X and RB, I guess. I don't know, I always get controllers confused. There we go. We're going to select it down and right at the same time so that the this background thing here doesn't move. Select default. We'll use our 999, get some souls back. Pick up my extra souls that I dropped. Okay, so once we have souls, we only really need a thousand, so you could just go and farm for a thousand souls too, and then come back and do this step. Uh, now that we have our our good heavy long sword, our 999 valued long sword, we are going to go back and we're going to select buy another long sword, but we're not actually going to buy it. We're just going to back out, and so now the game's sort of memory for the item menus is in a negative number for whatever reason. So because we're on PC. We are going to go to our quick game and we're going to take our mouse out again and we're going to put it over top of our inventory. So what we're going to do now is click on the inventory and we're going to press A or X on our controller really quickly after. Nice. First try. And it should open two menus. So you have the quick game menu and then in the background we have our inventory menu. So with our mouse, uh, just pretend your controller operates this menu here. With our mouse, we're going to go into the inventory and we're going to select the item that we want to duplicate. Um, when we when we move around here in the top left, you can see that on this part, we can see what we're using, sort of. So we're going to go until we hover so drop selected item. And you can see drop selected item is selected up there. Uh, and we're going to click on it. So with our mouse, if we click on the down arrow, nothing will happen. But if we go back to the controller now and press down on the D-pad, it'll bring in that remembered negative value. 
Um, so we're going to drop negative 998 Twinkling Titanite. And when we select OK, we will get our maximum number of 99 Twinkling Titanite here. Nice. Uh, let's do it one more time for the Titanite chunk. So we're going to go back and we're going to talk to our friend the giant, or the friend the blacksmith. We're going to purchase a sword. Back out. Don't actually purchase. And then we're going to go to quick game. Oops. Quick game. Take the mouse out. And we're going to click and then press A very shortly after. So it's click and then A, but they're very, very close together. Uh, and then we're going to go to the next item we want to duplicate, our Titanite Chunk. We can click on that. Using this top left menu, we're going to hover drop. And then back onto the controller, press down on the D-pad to get the negative value. And then we can press OK. And max Titanite Chunks, 99 and 99 Twinkling Titanite. So now you guys don't have to grind for your materials anymore. You don't have to grind for your souls anymore. You can just make the most op baddest builds of all time in Dark Souls. Enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.